Okay, we are back in the sim, and we have a smart co-piloteer alongside us in our Discord channel, who's willing to help do the connections. So as you can see, we've got the smart co-pilot running, so we have the master and connect buttons. I'm going to run a slave, and uh, our friend CJ will be the master, and he's going to throw us an invite. Uh, CJ and I have done a lot of checks previously. We know we run the same navigation data. We do have the same ortho scenery. We have the same scenery at this particular airport, which is Miami. Um, we've got the same config file. We're running the same version of Smart Copilot. So everything from both sides is identical. Uh, so this hopefully will sh show you what a successful connection looks like. So I'll jump across into the Copilot seat. And CJ, if you want to throw us out an invite. So there's the invite. I get the little pop-up box that says incoming connection, allow connect. I click OK and there we go. If you did notice, the screen did m move a tiny little bit, uh, which is an indication that it's there's a tiny, tiny little difference. But for the wants of this video, we are effectively now connected together on Smart Copilot, everything working. CJ, do you just want to give us a quick fire up of the aircraft just to show show the viewers right. thank you so we'll, we'll remove the uh, yoke for now and grab the battery okay so cj's moving everything on the aircraft not me Is the beacon light on yeah beacons are on nav light can come on navs are on and uh we're going to turn us up oh, full rich full rich a little bit of throttle As the CJ will turn it over. Okay, we did actually have this problem earlier. This is an air, a problem with my aircraft. It's, it won't start. But as you can see, all the controls were working with CJ. I just actually need to go and reload this Cessna aircraft. Uh, oh, yeah. But other than that, that is a successful connection. Thanks ever so much. Thanks for your time, CJ.